Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at um, a topic called completing the square. And very typically it will give you a question like this where it will say write this equation in the form of this, which uh, really means that we're not going to be changing any of the values of the equation. All we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing it around a little bit to make it put into or to put it into this form. Okay, now there is a technique for doing this, and basically what we do is we look at the first two terms terms and we write them as x minus 5 squared. Now what I've done there is I've halved this value. So half of minus 10 is minus 5. I put the 2 into brackets and then I square it. Okay, let's just have a look at that then. So if I wanted to work that out, what I end up with is x minus 5 times x minus 5. So that's going to give me x squared minus 10x plus 25. Okay, now if you're not sure about what I've done there, then please do have a look at some of the uh, playlists and some of the videos on expand bracketed terms. Okay, so effectively what I've got is with my x minus 5 squared, I've got the first two terms exactly the same as that. So that works out perfectly well. However, I've still got this plus 25 I've got to deal with. So what I'm going to do is minus 25. And that means then that this, when I work it out, will be exactly the same as the first two terms. OK, the only thing I've got then is to get rid of this plus one. So if I plus one onto there, OK, and then write it out just by gathering up the numbers. So I get x minus 5 squared minus 25 plus 1 is minus 24. And that's the answer to this particular question. OK, hope that's been useful for you. Um, in another playlist, we're going to be looking at putting a number in front of this, which is where uh, completing the square becomes quite a lot more tricky to deal with. So I hope this has been useful for you. If you're not sure, please have a look at some of the other videos in the playlist. Uh, place a comment below in the comments. I'll always come back to you and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.